What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Star Vision YouTube channel. My name is Sebastian. I'm here to join my brother, Ugo. What's up, everyone? And we are here with some breaking news. The Dallas Cowboys are trading wide receiver Amari Cooper to the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Cowboys will receive a fifth and sixth round pick in return. Ugo, what are your thoughts about this trade? Uh, my initial thoughts is that the Browns got a good deal for Amari Cooper. Um, I feel like the Cowboys nation, I mean, it's good that we got something instead of just straight up cutting him. So we did a we got a fifth and we swapped six. So if that's the best offer we could get, I mean, we got we got the best we could get at the end of the day. My initial thought is there's gonna be a lot of pressure on CD Lamb to take over as a wide receiver one. Um, I think he's capable of it, even though he hasn't shown it. But I think he's definitely capable of it. And this is a straight up salary cap move. You know, we we needed to clear up money, and Mari Cooper's contract was the best way to get it done. Yeah, like you mentioned, the Dallas Cowboys will save sixteen million in cap space this offseason. So that was a big reason why the front office decided to part ways. Now, there's a free agent out there, Dallas Cowboys wide receiver, Michael Gallup, who's awaiting a new contract. He's gonna test the market, and as of right now, the Dallas Cowboys don't have a deal in place. Let's see what happens there, but how will the Dallas Cowboys address the wide receiver position following trading Amari Cooper? Like you said right now, it's going to be probably bring back Michael Gallup, which at the end of the day, I mean, it doesn't make too much sense for me because we're going to save 16 mil and Gallup's probably going to get around 12 mil. So mm -hmm. I think Gallup, I, I think Mari Cooper is in a different tier of his own, but at the end of the day, that's that's the way they went. And um, I believe maybe in the draft, we might get a receiver. Maybe through rounds one through three, there's definitely a receiver is going to be in discussion for sure. And maybe a cheap option for agent. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what, what the plan is. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, Cedric Wilson is another option. I think the Cowboys, I saw a report that said they're priced out of his market, mm -hmm. which makes sense because the Dallas Cowboys are cheap. But yeah, I, I, like, I would like to draft a rookie receiver, pair him up with C.D. Lamb. In my other video, I talked about the possibility of adding Juju Smith-Schuster. That's just a name I like to fill that Mark Cooper void. Now... Before we wrap this up, what's your favorite Amari Cooper memory you have with the Dallas Cowboys? Mm. Uh, my favorite memory of Amari Cooper is in 2018 when we traded him. Um, he balled out against the Commanders. Um, he went over 100 yards and had a couple touchdowns. And, and that was like exactly what Dak needed at the time. And I, he was a true wide receiver one. And he was there just making plays left and right. And it was just great that he came to save Dak that year. Yeah, Amari Cooper was critical in Dak Prescott's development, and now the Dallas Cowboys just ship him off for pennies. Now, my favorite memory with Amari Cooper was this past year. Dak Prescott, um, he was a game-time decision, Sunday night football against the Minnesota Vikings. Cooper Rush gets the start, and Amari Cooper balled out. He had eight receptions, 122 yards, and a touchdown. That touchdown was the game-winning touchdown in the left corner, back left corner of the end zone. He mossed the cornerback. And I just that just goes to show the type of receiver Amari Cooper truly is. And let's see how he performs in Cleveland with Baker Mayfield or they find a new quarterback there. Mm -hmm. Now, any last thoughts? Um, was he worth, worth the first round pick? <sighs> um, I think he was. I think that I mean, was a tough one. but It helped I Dak a lot. Had. And... Um, a lot of young guys with rookie uh, rookie contracts at the time. I mean, they go, they go, they're expensive. Look at Mika Fitzpatrick deal, the Jamal Adams deal. I mean, those guys get traded if they're on a young, if they're young and they're on the rookie contract. So I mean, I, I think it was worth it. For, yeah, with the years of production we he, got. He played up to the first round pick value, so that's for sure. Now, with that being said, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the Star Vision YouTube channel and hit those post notifications for live updates when I post a new video. And we are so close to 500 subscribers. Let's hit that goal before draft day. And leave your comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Amari Cooper trade to Cleveland Browns? Stay safe and peace out.